Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can convert a series of curves uh, to a minimal surface and finally extract the mesh as you can see here. As you can see here, if I change the location of the curves, this is going to update. If I deform it, it's also going to give you a new mesh and it's really easy to use. So you can see here that I can right click and set multiple curves, and select these new curves, and it's going to give you a new output. This is really great if you wanted to just get a minimal surface by just defining a series of curves. Here you can see that by deforming the curve, the output is going to also update. And finally, I can convert that into a quad mesh. And if I bake it, here you can see the final result, which is really useful if you just want to convert a series of curves into a minimal surface uh, using the kangaroo plugin. Okay, to get started from scratch, uh, I have made these curves inside Rhino and we're going to bring that inside Grasshopper. So we can go to the Params menu, Geometry Curve, and right click here and set multiple curves. Just select these. Uh, this is the starting point. Now what we want to do is to convert it into an initial mesh and then we want to bring up that mesh towards these curves. Uh, let me explain. So if I look at it from top, you can see that these curves are inside a boundary. This is really important. They have to have a complete boundary. And uh, we're going to just simply use a project. So just use a project on a plane. For example, you can use that as an XY plane. Uh, if I want to have easier outputs, I just have to move this a little bit up. So I'm always projecting them on a little bit downwards on the ground. So that's also important. Uh, okay, after we have the projection, we just have to convert this into a mesh. If, uh, if I go to this uh, surface, use this boundary, we can convert this into a boundary. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use the mesh triangulation and try remesh. Uh, the reason here is that if I collect a surface, a nerve surface, which is trimmed, if I select untrim here, you can see that it's actually, this is the base surface. So remember that when you're connecting a trimmed surface to a tri remesh component, what it does, it's going to convert the untrimmed surface to tri remesh. There's a really cool trick you can use here. Just convert the nerve surface into a mesh by just connecting a mesh it's going to automatically make a mesh from that and then give it to the tri remesh. It's really fast, it doesn't uh, slow down the process. And now you can see that we have that here. Uh, we can define maybe from 5 to 20. The most important input is the length because it's going to affect the output. So I think that we're going to stick with one as the smallest number if you want to have more details. And another thing you have to also input for the uh, for this tutorial and it's really important is the features which is going to be the uh, curves we have projected on the ground this is also going to uh, make sure that the tri remesh is going to sit on the curve and let's just zoom in here you can see that the mesh is not sitting on the curve and this is really really important because we have to have those points on the projection so if i give the projection curve as the features it's going to try to bring the vertices on the mesh Exactly, so this is really important and uh, we are ready to go and move those vertices on the ground towards these 3D curves. 